Well, we have a service engine soon light on. Um, now the triangle with the exclamation point is because of the emergency brake and the door is open right now. But we do have a code, which is a PO101, which is saying that uh, mass airflow sensor is either not performing well or is bad. So we're going to clean it real quick, see if that knocks it out. Well, after you lift the hood, your mass airflow sensor, if you follow your air ram to your air box, as you look right here, you're going to see this sensor that comes out of your air box between your air box and the intake that goes to your throttle body. That is the mass airflow sensor. So, you see this plug right here? You're just going to pinch that, and take it off, and get it out of the way. And you need a fancy tool, old Phillips head screwdriver. Take these two screws out, and then that assembly pops out. make sure that you keep a hold of these two screws you don't want to lose them so you gotta either set them down right there or put them in your pocket just don't lose them and then it simply pulls out there you go mass airflow sensor so you need to spray your cleaner in there and it comes out the sides and the bottom but that is your mass airflow sensor So I went by the local O'Reilly's and picked up Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner. There it is. Got a little hose on it. Let's put the hose in the end of the nozzle. My fingers work right as cold. There it is. There she goes. And then here's your mass airflow sensor. Yeah, I'm gonna do it here. So I'm gonna get it all over the car. So you just spray it right in there. There you go. Spray it where it comes out. Get it in there real good. And then let it air dry before you put it back in. All right, well, now it's dry, ready to go back in. So again, from the air box back to the throttle body, the air needs to go in there. So this is the right way you can line up the uh, the bolt holes because um, if you put it that way, she's not gonna run right. So just pop it back in. Get your two screws. And your fancy Phillips head screwdriver. Now see, this is a good thing for anybody to really be able to do. If it pulls that code, you could do this yourself. You know, no need to take it to a mechanic shop. Again, you don't need any fancy stuff other than a Phillips head screwdriver in a couple minutes. It's only, uh, I think it was like eight or nine dollars for that bottle of mass airflow cleaner. Get it pretty hand tight. Don't overdo it. You don't want to strip the threads. Take your uh, plug, pop it back on until it snaps. Bam! It's ready to rock. Start her up. See what happens. All right. Moment of truth. And it's off. Ta-da! Easy enough. <laughs>